Hey everyone, welcome to week 35 of my Accutane adventures. And now I feel like I've been making two steps forward and one step back in my progress. So what's, what's that mean? What I mean is I feel like some weeks I look really clear. Some weeks I feel like I'm drying up really well and I'm like, oh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be there in a couple weeks. And then another week will go by and then I'll break out a little bit like I am this week. But I always feel like I am moving forward. Whether, whether or not, you know, some weeks I look a little broken out or, or not, I feel like I'm still pushing forward and forward. So I'm saying two steps forward, one step back, always making a little bit more progression. Now I'm gonna jump right into the close-ups and show you exactly what's happening to my face this week. I have, I, tell, I always tell you guys, don't pick at your face. And uh, sometimes I'm like, all right, that one looks like I can pick at it and it'll be gone, it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, and then I end up getting one of these where like I pick at it and then it sticks around and then it looks way worse. And then I'm like, don't pick at your face, idiot. And I'm the one telling myself that, not listening to my own advice, like an idiot. This is the other side of my face, not too bad. And then my forehead up here, and here's my forehead. Now I'm not gonna lie, it, it is kind of annoying, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying having to be so patient and not seeing progress as quick as I see other people progress on their Accutane, but like I say, it's it's all a game of patience, and it's not that big of a deal. I'm not I'm not really um, you know brought down by my acne. I don't really care. I go out and I do the exact same thing that I would do if I had completely clear buttery skin, and I just I just don't care. You know, I just live my life, and just doing that, just living your life, and not constantly micro analyzing and thinking about how your face looks makes life so much easier because no one else, seriously, I know you might feel like it, but no one else is micro analyzing your face at all. Now as you guys know, I've been up to 100 milligrams, I think it was like uh, a month and a half ago, so I'm still taking 100 milligrams every day. As far as my side effects go, I'm not really having that bad of side effects. I still have very dry lips, I wake up every morning and I'm like, my face is obviously dry, so I have to put a lot of moisturizer on it. My eyes get occasionally dry. My back has stopped hurting so much. It's like a little bit sore here and there every once in a while, but it's really not that bad as it was uh, about a month and a half ago when I started this up, upping in my treatment. I felt like my back was really starting to seize up, but right now, it doesn't hurt at all. Also, a lot of people have been saying, I think you aren't addressing the root, the core of your problem. And, and they're saying that they think either my diet or like leaky gut syndrome or whatever is the problem. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I feel like I'm a professional at an analyzing my own diet because I've been trying to get rid of my acne for years now. My diet is very clean. I get all my vegetables in. I drink tons of water, more than the regular person would drink, two to three gallons. Um, I don't get any dairy in at all, no cheese, no milk. I don't even take whey protein in. So really, it's it's like, uh, I don't think it's my diet. I really honestly don't think it's my diet or my supplements. I think it's just genetics, and I think that we all just have to be just as patient to let this treatment take its course, and then you guys are gonna be so happy when I'm happy, and we're all gonna be cleared up. Now on to the fan questions. The first fan question comes from B-Boy Zero G. He says, loving the videos, man. I was just wondering if you've experienced any of the horrible side effects that everyone talks about on the internet. Now I feel like a lot of the side effects that you hear about on the internet are really just the most wretched, horrible side effects that only happen to like 1% of the people who take Accutane. And I feel like you hear about those ones because they're so crazy sounding that everyone wants to talk about them because they're interesting, right? You know, like people having these horrible nosebleeds, people having erectile dysfunction, people snapping their bones and stuff. And I haven't had any of those. I haven't heard of any of my friends having those. And I just don't think that it's something you really need to worry about all that much. Now, you do have to be mindful. You have to realize that it could happen to you. But it's not like it happens to every single person like it seems like on the internet. Hannah J, this girl comments on almost all my videos. And I really appreciate it. The one thing that kind of sucks is that I can't comment back. I can't reply to your comments. I don't know if you understand this. A lot of people um, haven't signed up for their Google Plus account to connect with their YouTube account. And if you do that, I can only thumbs up or thumbs down your comment. I cannot reply to it. So if I don't reply to you, and you're wondering why I reply to everyone else and not you, quite possibly you could be one of those people that I'm not allowed to comment back on. Anyways, her question is, do you have to pay for Accutane yourself, or do you have insurance that takes care of it? Also, how much does Accutane cost? Um, I have insurance that takes care of it, so for me, it's $10, that's it. $10 every month to refill my prescription, it's $30 to see my doctor, and $10 for a blood test. So every month it takes me about 50 bucks. Now, without insurance, <clears throat> That number is insane. Um, you have to do a quick Google search because I know it's different in every state, but it can be up to like, it goes like 500 to $1,000 for every month or something like that. It's ridiculous. So I think that insurance is something you definitely have to have 
to take Accutane. Otherwise, it's gonna be just detrimental to your funding. <laughs> this is a good question from Ian McStruthers. This is definitely a bodybuilding-esque question. He says, if you could get completely clear skin, but you'd have to take it one year back in gains, you'd have to lose one whole year of gains, would you do it? Now, I would usually say no, never, you know, because my gains are the most important thing, but honestly, I'd say yeah, because if I could have clear skin for the rest of my life, I have, you know, another 75 years of lifting ahead of me. I could take one of those years off and have buttery skin and do a lot more, you know, because my aesthetics will help me do certain things in my career, but my complete aesthetics as a person, you know, not just my muscles and my physique are gonna help me go even farther in my career. Steven Taylor says, how many pills do you take a day? I have 20 milligram pills and I have to take five of them because I'm on 100 milligrams. So I take one whole row every night and then take the other row the next night. It's kind of a bitch, a lot of pills, but honestly, I'm someone who can eat a ton of pills and it doesn't even bother me. Last question comes from I'm Just Chillin' and he says, how long have you been working out? You're in good form. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. I've been lifting for just over six years now. So I've been lifting for a long time, since I was 15 years old until now, and I'm almost 22 years old. My birthday is September 23rd, and uh, it's it's been the most rewarding thing I could ever do. It's, it's really, it's like intrinsic motivation for me. It's something I have to do every day. I don't even think about like, oh, am I gonna keep going to the gym? It's like, when am I gonna go to the gym? I enjoy it so much. It builds this mental discipline and this mental fortitude that is unmatched by anything else that you could possibly do, in my opinion. I know there's, there's people that have other passions, of course, and you should follow those, but but for me, this is the best thing I can do and I love every minute of it. Now that's the last fan question, but I want to mention that I read through all the comments last week and there were so many people that were saying, hey man, you're clearing up, you're almost there, hey, we're here to support you, hey, I've been watching since the very first week, hey, I love your videos, all these great supportive comments and I just couldn't ask for a more supportive group of people. I love each and every one of you and if I had the opportunity, I would love to meet every single one of you. You guys are an inspiration to me. You always say I'm an inspiration to you, but you guys are absolutely motivation and inspiration for myself. So there we go, like I always say, we're going for the world record longest Accutane treatment ever. It's week 35 this week. Let's see if we can make it all the way to week 52, who knows? <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, but I hope my face clears up soon. I really appreciate all the support. I love that you guys comment on every video. Please keep doing that. Please hit the like button, it'll help this video spread out to more people who have acne and that need some help and some support from someone else. So that would be great if you guys could like it. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can get an update every time I put up a new video. Thank you guys for checking out week 35. Thank you all for the support again. I love you all. Team Beyond the Week. Lift heavy or die, Myron.